The sculpting on Topspin is brilliant, uh, as to be expected with movie toys. The detailing is very good, um, especially on the chest. I like the way it sort of folds in the way the chest is designed. Um, the arms are quite nice. Um, at first I thought the arms were actually these magnet things. However, on the inside you can see that hands moulded in. So he's sort of got magnet weapons like animated ratchet. Um, his head is very nicely designed. As I said before, it's based on sort of a stereotypical NASCAR fan with the sunglasses you can see and the mullet. Uh, so yeah, the sculpting on the legs is very nice with the spring design again that keeps popping up on many of these Dark of the Moon toys. And yeah, so the sculpting is very nice. The paint on this toy is pretty good. Um, it could use some uh, paint to bring out the details, especially on the chest and the face. Um, there's loads of detail on this toy, but it just needs a bit more paint to bring it out. Um, he's not as bad as Roadbuster. Uh, from Wave 1, who is pretty much all grey with some extra detail. So, compared to Roadbuster, this is a very good toy, um, and it stands out much more and looks much greater in your collection than Roadbuster. The quality of the paint is actually very good, though, however. Um, there's some um, yellow, blue, as you can already see. Um, I can't see any of the paint flaking off. However, this yellow paint looks a bit sloppy. I mean, yellow paint always does look sloppy on plastic toys, so, but that is to be expected. However, it looks pretty bad when you look closely, but from a distance, it doesn't look that bad. The articulation is very good. Um, like with most movie toys. He's got a ball jointed head which he can move, rotate 360. Um, sort of a neck hinge so he can move up, look up as well. Uh, uh, he's got a ball jointed shoulder he can move around uh, and it's sort of a hinge of the upper here, upper arm so he can rotate 360. Bends at the elbow and these magnet claws can open up as well and close due to the transformation. Um, the legs are ball jointed. They can uh, bend because they've got a double hinge on the knee, which is nice. So you can get extra movement on the knee. And his feet can move inwards like this because it's on a ball joint. So move inwards and outwards. Uh, that's about it. Oh yeah. I uh, forgot, it's got waist articulation which is very nice, you can get him some really good poses. Also I'm not sure if you count this as articulation but these arm shoulder cannons of doom, they can rotate because they're on a ball joint and these cannons guns can rotate because it's on a mech tech port. So yeah, articulation is very good on this toy as to be expected with movie toys. The main gimmick for Dark of the Moon is the new mech tech technology. Uh, this is uh, Top Spin's mech tech weapon. Uh, it's sort of like a crossbow with sort of a gun at the top, so shoots out bullets, but it's a crossbow. Uh, to activate the mech tech, you just pull this back, and these things sort of fold forward to become more magnets like this so you can grab stuff with it uh... yeah it's not brilliant but it's not awful at the same time you can't lock it like uh... most dark of the moon stuff so if you just let go it falls back um, there's a mech tech port on here which pegs into either arm This this arm or the right arm and it can also peg on the shoulder weapons like this so yeah you can have it like this it looks a bit silly like that uh, so I prefer just to leave it on his arm 
here is a size comparison with uh, Universe Acid Storm. So you can see he's taller than him by a head. Uh, but if you count these shoulder weapons, then it's quite a big difference. Top Spin suffers from a lot of kibble. I mean, the wreckers in this Dark of the Moon have generally have quite a lot of kibble on them. Um, but for a toy, he's got um, sort of the car hanging off the back. Um, it's not too bad because you can't see that much from the front. And you've got these massive, massive weapons, uh, shoulder pad things, which are pretty much the whole back of the car. I mean, that's the side of the car, pretty much. So... He in the movie he is designed to look like this, so he's pretty accurate to the on-screen model. But the kibble can get in the way of some of the articulation, for example, the waist articulation. So he can't rotate fully around without having to move it out the way. Deluxe top spin is very nice in this robot mode, so I give him a thumbs up. And here we have top spin in vehicle mode on this car is where he really shines. I mean, it looks superb. Uh, the detailing is pretty good. Uh, the silver on the engine is really nice. Um, he does have these uh, pointy things in the front, so if you got hit in the eye with this, it would hit, but it doesn't stick out that far, but it's still solid plastic, and it could break if you bend it too far or throw it around and smash it around but I don't think many people would do that um, but yeah it's a very nice vehicle um, the back uh, there's not de there's no detail at all uh, that's fine with me uh, because I'm not gonna really display it looking like that um, if I'm gonna display it I'd either keep it in robot mode or car mode because car mode is spectacular uh, he's got four guns here all around the car uh, these guns can actually be put, taken off and you can put other mech tech weapons in there so you could put one gun in the front for example uh, like that so it's very nice uh, the side, there's some grey plastic appearing, but it's very nice. From the bottom, you can see the feet and the arms, but everything else is pretty nicely tucked away. The transformation is pretty smooth. Um, at times it can be a bit fiddly trying to clip everything in, um, but overall it's, it's pretty decent. There's nothing too hard, nothing too easy either. Um, you can kind of see the head in the front there like uh, but that's pretty pretty okay uh, the car is very nice standard deluxe size um, but yeah overall I'd highly recommend this toy it's very nice um, very nicely sculpted very accurate to the CGI model that we saw recently um, it's even got the lows uh, registered trademark there so very nice very nice overall highly recommended uh, very nice toy and definitely one of the stars so far in dark of the moon hope you enjoy this review and please rate comment and subscribe